So let's code median of medians algorithm. So let's create an array int array and insert few elements in this array. And now let's call find median method, which will find the median of this array. So here let's pass this array and let's create this method. So here this code is going to be a little long. So in this method, again, we are going to call another method find median util which will find the median from this array and in this method we will pass the array we will pass the index the middle index where the median will be present after the completion of this code so this is the mid element and it is array dot length divided by 2 plus 1 right and now we're gonna pass the lower bound and the upper bound. Lower bound is zero, array starts from zero, and upper bound is array dot length minus one. So here, this is the find median util. Again, in this method, we are going to call another method. But before that, let's rename these parameters. This is, let's say, k, which is the index, middle index, and this is the low, and this is high. So now here we are going to call a method partition and in this method we are going to pass the array, the lower index, the lower bound and the upper bound. So now let's create this method partition and here in this partition again we are going to call a method. This will return us let's say m and here this returns int. okay now here we're gonna call get pivot value and here we will pass again array low and high so this pivot value is let's say pivot okay now we're gonna write code for getting the pivot value so main implementation is going to start from here here you know that we're going to divide the array in subpartitions having five elements each right so we need array that will hold the elements present in those partition and another array that will hold all the medians we are getting from that partition so let's create array let's say it is int temp and let's initialize this array with null now we need another array that will hold the medians from each chunk so let's create this array this is a new int array and the size of this array this will be math.cl and here high minus low plus one we're having chunks of five so high minus low plus one and this divided by 5 and math.seal except double so let's cast it to double and as this is an int array cast the whole value as int so this is the size of medians array and now let's take median index and initialize it with zero the next step we are going to copy the elements into the temp array and then we are going to sort each chunk so here while high is greater than or equal to low 
get the size of next element it can be less than 5 so here we are initializing this temp with new int and here the size is math.min it can be 5 or it can be less than 5 because a chunk can be having five elements or it can be having few, fewer elements if there are no more elements. Okay. So now let's fill up this temp array with the elements. So this will start from zero and it will go till temp.length until the value of low is less than high. And then we're going to increment the i. So here let's put the value in this array. So temp i. And let's put the value percent at the low index. And then we will increment the low. So after getting this chunk, we're going to sort this chunk. So let's sort this using the sort method from arrays utility class so arrays dot sort and let's pass the oh my goodness this must be sort and here let's pass temp array and now we are going to find the mean and we are going to store it in the median array now let's put the median from this temp into this medians array. So median in this chunk will be present at the middle index after the sorting. So it will be temp and the index will be temp dot length divided by two. Now let's increment the median index. Now we are going to do this stuff recursively to get all the medians into this medians array and then to finally return the median of these medians. So pass the medians array, the lower bound for this array and the upper bound for this array which is medians dot length minus one. But see this method, we're not having any base condition that will return the median of medians. So let's write the base condition. If high minus low plus one is less than equal to nine, then we're going to sort this array. This is the median array having all the medians from those chunks. So let's sort this array. ARR. This is sort here. And then return the median of these medians which will be present at the middle index of this medians array right so arr dot length divided by two this is we are doing this when the index is when the length is smaller than or equal to nine because if it is greater than nine then we are going to again break it into chunks so this is how we are getting the pivot and now the next step is the same what we do in, when we sort the elements using quick sort. So we take a low pointer and we take a high pointer or you can say we take two pointers at both the ends and we increment the left pointer, the low pointer, if the value present at the, that low pointer is less than the pivot value. So increment the low, we go towards right. Otherwise, if high pointer is having value greater than the pivot value, then we go towards the left. That is, we decrement the high, right? And when 
both pointers are stuck then the elements are out of order and we must swap them so to swap them we must check that low is less than high or not if low is less than high then only we can swap these elements so let's swap them take a temp and put the value present at the low pointer in this temp and put the value at high pointer in this at this low index and finally put the value present at the low index which we have stored in temp in at high index so now this is the high index which we are going to return here but see if low and high both pointers are having the same value then we don't have to swap those values so if both the values are equal then we're gonna go with incrementing the low pointer so let's increment the low and finally return the index of the pivot which now the pivot is present at the high index right so let's return high so this will be the value uh, which is returned by this partition method m so after getting this value what we're gonna do we have to check for the length if length equals to m minus low plus one this is the length and now if this length is equals to k that is it is this it is at the same index where we are searching for it then we will return the element at this index because it is the index which we were searching for where the median is present because it is the middle of that array else if the length is greater than k that means that the value we're searching for or the median is present at the left to this index so here we'll pass array k low and m minus one else it is present at the right so else else return find median neuter pass the array and the index for it we have to search for is k minus length m plus 1 is the lower and high is the higher So now the find median neutral implementation is complete and this will give us the median so int median equals to find median neutral and now let's print this median median is median now let's try running this code and see if it gets us the right median or not. So median for this array must be 24. Let's see. Oh, we are getting the exception here. Oh, median temp low plus plus. Oh, here must it must be less than or equal to high. Now let's try running the, it again. So yes, we get 24, which is the median. 